just click that thumbs up button we on lockdown and there's nothing to do hey what's up people welcome back to the channel i know for some of you some of you may be saying i'm a very strange fella and the fact of the matter is it's true i'm a strange guy and i know some of you may be saying i just do a lot of strange things not only so some of you may be saying that i i i have a strange way of thinking but believe it or not my strange way of thinking have allowed me to save quite a lot of money in the most simplest way you can ever imagine and that's because there are a lot of basic things that most people partake in that i basically just don't spend money on so for the rest of this video i'm basically just going to go through a few basic things that a lot of people partake in that i don't spend money on and just a quick disclaimer i know some people just think funny already like like myself you know i'm not the only strange person but i used to partake in in most of the things that i'm going to tell you about that i don't spend money on and i didn't stop um partaking in those things because i wanted to save money or because i didn't want to spend money on it you know just to put that out there yeah because life happens and you you learn other things you learn things that is better for you as an individual and and if you're smart you jump on board and if you do care about yourself then you ignore it you know because i'm a person here anytime you say i learn something good something that's going to help me to um develop on myself to change my way of thinking for a better way of thinking i i jump on board and i try to apply it into my life any way that i can i mean if it means that i have to slightly adapt to a different lifestyle then i will as long as it contributes to improving on myself on my well-being so anyway before i continue talking too much without any further ado let's get into the real purpose of this video but before you you continue watching if you're interested in this video based on the title and based on how i started off this video please click that like button and click that subscribe button if you are new or if you have not clicked that subscribe button as yet now let's get into it so the first basic thing that i don't spend money on in the fact of the matter is i can't even remember the last time i ever spent money on that it have some years and that is going to sound very strange to some of you and that is deodorant and i'm talking about deodorant of any kind any deodorant that is sold at a shop or a store or a supermarket i don't buy it and i don't use it some of you may be saying boy jay me some be smelling boy <laughs> But that's okay. If you're interested in knowing what I use, then let me know in the comment section below. And probably I could make a video out of that. The second basic thing that I don't use is I, I don't use creams. I don't, I don't use perfumes, no body lotions, you know, no sweet scented oils. You know, I don't really put any of that on my skin and I don't buy any. So by now you should realize that I don't really put too much chemicals on my skin. For the most part, I let the natural oils that flow from my skin moisturize my skin naturally. However, I do use oil like coconut oil and castor oil mainly in my hair to help to moisturize my hair. Yeah, I use those now and again, but all in all, I don't use any chemicals on my skin. In fact, the most chemicals I probably use on my skin is bathroom soap. You know, yeah. When I'm taking a shower. But I don't use creams, perfumes, body lotion, you know, and the like. So I don't spend money on those. Now the third basic thing that I don't spend money on, and that is toothpaste. You know how most Dominicans like to call all toothpaste Colgate already. I don't spend money on Colgate. I don't use Colgate. <laughs> and I know some of you may be saying, the man doesn't brush his teeth neither, no? <laughs> what, my brother? You don't brush your teeth? <laughs> but really and truly doesn't not because i'm not using any toothpaste doesn't mean that i doesn't brush my teeth <laughs> other than that i make my own toothpaste and again if you're interested in knowing how i do that then let me know in the comment section below and you never know maybe sometime in the future in the very near future i might make a video just showing you guys what i use to brush my teeth and what i use as my deodorant very simple now the fourth basic thing that I don't spend money on and I know by now most of all you can see that I don't shave and I don't cut my hair and obviously I don't visit the barber. So the fourth thing that I don't spend money on is cutting my hair. I know some of you may be thinking that I'm nasty but that's okay I know that you're only thinking out of ignorance. And maybe you just need to go and do the research on the importance of your hair. 
And based on my own understanding, if you believe in a creator, I don't see why a creator will create something that has no importance. But that's another story. You have a choice to stay in your ignorance. Now, the fifth basic thing that I don't spend money on, and that is gambling. <laughs> you know, buying lotto tickets or buying scratch scratch, you know, or, or you pull up by the road playing bingo or you're playing dominoes for money. You know, I, I don't spend money on gambling. And I think by now, most people should know that lotto is a scam because we recently saw evidence about that. I think a month ago that they had a million dollars on the line and and I think some person in, in, um, in St. Lucia won that million dollars and they claim that it was a cheated um, win. You know, like the, the individual knew the numbers beforehand. And so it just tells you that the, the lotto numbers are, are, well, are well planned out. So it's not a lock and chance thing. That means to say that any individual can, who is in the system can choose to give their friend the number, you know? And if it's not leaked, interestingly, that time it was leaked out, you know? But I don't know the, the full details of it. Don't take my word for it. You can do your own research. But all in all, Lotu is a scam. In fact, when I was a young boy, my grandmother used to always send me and buy Lotu. And every time she 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 she'd give me her numbers and for me to go and buy her Lotu ticket for it for her. And every time she she she'd win the Lotu, she'd always say that Lotu Lotu is a scam. You know, those those people they, they always they know what numbers coming up and they know who to give their numbers because oh she had a friend that used to work at the at the Lotu office and. And those balls that they use, that they that they shuffle in, they shuffle in, you know, the numbers that they want to come up in those balls would be light balls, and then all the rest of the numbers would be heavy balls, you know. So, so, so that's something that you guys can think about, you know. Like for instance, if they want three five nine to to be the numbers for the low two, they put they put three five nine light balls into the machine, and all the rest of the balls will be heavy balls, so that obviously when the, the lighter balls is going to come up first it's just common sense right and since then since i was a youngster i made up my mind to not spend money on lotto ticket you know on any gambling ticket whatsoever whether it be scratch scratch or whatever others that they have i don't know them because i i don't pay interest in them but i don't spend money on them whatsoever now the six basic thing that i don't spend money on and i think i'll make that the the last um thing that i share on as far as on a basic on a basic level you know because there are many other basic things that i don't spend money on that a lot of people spend money on on a regular basis you know and me not spending on those things i have i realized that i've been saving quite a lot of money or having a lot less money to spend when i'm doing my monthly shopping you know, so the six basic thing that I don't spend money on, and that is something that I recently mentioned in one of my past videos, and that is cable. I personally don't see the need for cable at this point in my life. And as I said before, I don't see why anybody would spend so much hours in a day watching TV. It just don't make any sense to me with so much content available on the internet to consume. Not only so, the majority of what you find on TV can also be found on the internet. TV is one of the most corrupt media outline of all and the downside is, is that you can't really control what really plays on TV. And believe it or not, it doesn't matter what you, what, how you look at it, there isn't a channel on TV that is not corrupt. Everything is basically programming. And that's why in most cases they call it a TV program. That's my personal view at it. I'm not saying that you should think the same way, but that's just how I look at it. Okay, so that's about it. But before I end this video, if you have made it this far, I have a few bonus information. It may not be so basic, but it can apply to both now and maybe sometime in the future on things that I will not be spending money on. And the first one is to impress people or trying to impress people. There is a saying that people try to impress people that they don't like. And there's some other parts to that saying which I cannot remember. But, but that's basically the main part. People try to impress people that they, that they don't like. You know? And oftentimes it more keeps you focused on other people than staying focused on yourself and trying to develop on your own self. Secondly, another thing that I will not spend money on in the near future is um, on, on body piercing and tattooing. 
and I won't go into much detail with this one, but the most I will say is that I love myself and I don't like any pain. Thirdly is taking appliances or furniture on higher purchase. I personally believe that is a waste of time and money because first of all, those companies that um, offer stuff on higher purchase, they charge you an extremely high interest on, on when you purchase uh, uh, an item. You know, and you and sometimes you end up paying almost double the the amount at the end of it than if you were to buy it cash when you really calculate the amount of money that you give back to those companies. But however, if I really need something, you know, um like an emergency or something came up and I really need something like my fridge go bomb or, or my stove go bomb, you know, I I would more than likely take a small loan from a bank instead than um than, than taking an appliances on higher purchase. You know, I'd more likely take a small loan and buy that thing cash and then pay off the bank. And I know some of you may be saying, but 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 you're coming to the same thing. <laughs> and but really and truly, I'm sure that I can get a much better deal from the bank. I'm sure I can get a much lower interest rate. Not only so that I develop in some form of credit score. You know, when you when you when you have the more transaction that you have to show. In a, in a bank, the more transaction that you have to show on a bank statement, the easier for you to be able to get more loans in the future and be, be able to get bigger loans. But, but, the, but, the, uh, but the, the companies that sell things on higher purchase, you know, they don't really record that for your benefit. You know, so, so it's even beneficial to, to take a loan to, to buy that thing than, than, than go in and take it on higher purchase, you know. You know, you spend less, not only in the long run, but, but you get benefits, you know, because you develop, you know, a, a more, a, a better bank statement, especially if you, you, you pay off your loan smoothly and even faster than the intended time. So you can get a much better deal with the bank than those companies. Or better yet, if it's something that is not urgent, you can gradually take your time and collect your money until you have enough money to just buy that thing cash. You know, because for the most part, most appliances, you know, they don't really cost so many thousands of dollars, you know, depending on what exactly that you want. You know, just a few thousand dollars. And I'm sure if, if you're doing good budgeting, you know, and you're doing good saving, you know, the, um, generating a few thousand dollars it would be a breeze. Now, the last and final thing that I will share that I will not spend money on in the future is a home that I cannot afford. A lot of people, believe it or not, a lot of people spend money on homes that they can't afford. And sometimes a few years down the line, the bank have to end up taking a home because they can no longer pay their, their, their mortgage or their loan. I'll never buy a, a home or, or build a home or build a house where more than 30% of my income is going to be coming out from my salary every month, you know, for the next 30 years. And as far as I'm concerned, if it's more than 30%, then I can't afford it. So I would not purchase it. Now, with all that being said, I would like to thank you guys for watching. Click that like button if you made it to the end and uh, or if you enjoyed it on a whole. Please let me know some other things that you don't spend money on in the comment section below if you like. And if you have any questions, then let me know in the comment section below. I'll be sure to try to answer all your questions, whether I answer it in the comment itself or I make a video answering those questions. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Lawrence Jerome. This has been Young and Uprising, where I share on personal development, finance and money related issues, spiritual growth, among other related things. So if those are topics that you're interested in, feel free to subscribe and click that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I release a new video. I presently have about 120 videos here on my channel and I'm sure there are one or two that you might be interested in. But in the meantime, be sure to click one of those videos that's going to pop up on the screen shortly. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next video. Peace out. Okay, click that thumbs up button. We're on lockdown and there's nothing to do.